Good morning and welcome to Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at market site is Ed Oliver, who's the Vice President of Financial Sales over at Data Miner. He's going to give you three fast facts on alternative data with cryptocurrency trading. Ed, thank you very much for joining us at market site today. We've got a lot to cover. Thanks, Explain to us what alternative data is and why is it becoming the new normal? Sure. So alternative data, I think the, way to, the best way to look at it is uh, anything outside the traditional data stack for investment professionals. So that traditional stack would be something like market information, uh, earnings releases, macroeconomic data, things that come out on a scheduled basis. Uh, the non-traditional alternative data would be uh, coming from social media or other web data, uh, satellite information, private company data, things that aren't typical uh, or aren't kind of accessible from a traditional sense. Right. And the reason that uh, it's becoming uh, the new normal, um, and you know, that's kind of a, a great way to kind of describe what's happening in the market is, uh, there's been a real adoption of it over time, and it's been growing year over year. Um, EY did a survey uh, last year uh, in 2017, um, surveying hedge funds, asking how they're using alternative, if they're using alternative data. In 2016, the number of funds that said that they are either using it or plan to use it was 50%. In 2017, last year, the updated version was 78%. So a pretty significant jump. Uh, in firms that were uh, using it or planning to use it from year over year. Right, is it continue to look for edge in the marketplace? I'm Absolutely. Sure. So social media is really primed to help traders stay on top of cryptocurrency news. Um, why are they turning to social media to get that kind of content? Sure, yeah. So uh, the crypto market, as you know, it's decentralized, it's digital, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's open source. Um, anybody can play in it. Um, you know, anybody can uh, do an ICO, uh, an ICO, and, and create a new coin. Uh, and social media is very much the same way. It's open source, it's public, it's 24 seven like crypto. Um, very much like the traditional versus non-traditional source of information, um, there is no you know, uh, single centralized uh, outlet for information uh, in the cryptocurrency world. It comes from a very wide decentralized source. Social media has been a great source for that. Um, again, cryptocurrency trades 24-7, social media runs 24-7. Uh, and so it becomes a great way to capture the information, whether it's from Twitter or Slack or Reddit, uh, Telegram, all these different types of social media um, really give people an opportunity to tap into what's going on in the market in real time. And to wrap up, what kind, of, what types of cryptocurrency news would break on a platform like Twitter, for example? Sure. Uh, I, I mean, I think there's four or five really big ones. The first would be uh, any sort of major conflict or geopolitical event. Um, you know, something like the Zimbabwe coup last year. Um, that's a great example. Uh, another area would be regulatory information. Um, a lot of conversation about what South Korea has been doing over the last six months, whether they're going to ban crypto or not. Much of that information broke uh, in social media. Uh, and then the other area we see it is in exchange uh, uh, updates, um, coins being added or subtracted to exchanges, uh, any sort of conversation around um, the code and, and kind of the development of, of crypto uh, and the coins. And then finally, uh, commentary and rumors that flow through the market. Um, social media is a really great place for that, and particularly Twitter. Uh, and it's a great way for market participants to understand what's moving the market minute by minute. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Ed, for joining us today. Thank you. And traders, thank you as always for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.